Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day today. It's been pretty bullish. We just broke out of an ascending triangle and the DXY is still trapped inside of its falling wedge. Um, and Ethereum as well just broke out of a ascending triangle as well. Um, and I'll keep you up to date with the energy web token trade that I'm doing as well. Um, but it, before that, we're just going to jump into the profit flexing for the community really quick. So we got Thesis himself, 27% yeah, gain with 20x leverage. Um, a hundred and two percent gain, longing XRP with twenty X leverage, shorting XRP for ten percent gain with twenty X leverage. Um, seventy three uh, thesis himself again, seventy three percent gain, um, shorting XRP with twenty two X leverage. Rando, uh, seventy three percent gain, twenty X leverage, longing XRP. Rando again, shorting Link, fourteen percent gain, twenty X leverage, and ten percent gain, shorting Link. And 9% gain shorting link. Um, awesome job. And Chris LC, 374% gain, 100x leverage. And Thesis, again, 106% gain, 30x leverage. And then lastly, Chris LC closed more of his trade for 584% gain with 100x leverage. All right. Awesome job, guys. So let's jump into the charts, see what we can expect next. And... Yeah, we'll go from there. All right, see you on the inside. All right, let's go into the DXY first. So we got yet yeah, the falling wedge right now still in play. Um, we were talking about how it could potentially be uh, this pennant formation and we got the rejection, but it kind of got invalidated uh, when we got back above this um, downtrend level of support that was supposed to stay and consistently flip as resistance. But because of the fact that we came up and retest this downtrend level of resistance right here, it validated the uh, falling wedge formation. Um, so this, unfortunately, um, it's you know it's, it's bearish while it plays out, but it's more likely to break to the upside. Um, what we want to see in order for it to likely break to the downside is see 111, um, yeah, 111.8 to act as resistance. So we see price actually come down and this acts as resistance. The chances of it breaking to the upside dramatically get reduced and we're more likely to go back to this next level of support at 110. Uh, we were kind of expecting a support bounce here. Um, but yeah, so now we know we were able to validate the DXY formation. So we got this in play. And while it's dropping off of the resistance correction here, we're seeing a pump in the Bitcoin price action. So we got this ascending triangle. And it just broke this horizontal level of resistance. And we're almost at its conservative technical, technical target at uh, 20,250. 20, However... Um, we could have a continuation formation and if we end up having a, you know, the formation break to the upside around this area, then we have a chance of retesting this downtrend level resistance and then using it as support and having a much more bullish response. Um, in confluence with that, we'll likely see the price action, like say for example, we have a pennant and we have, a, when we break out to the upside, um, the retest will likely happen in confluence with the retest off of this level of um, resistance to flip as support. Um, so depending on how the price action develops, that's that's basically how I visualize it playing out in the, in the bullish way. If we have to get rejected though, then obviously we'll just wait for the next formation for us to find another trade. Um, let's take a look at yeah the daily chart for Bitcoin really quick. So this is the downtrend level resistance that we're tracking right now. If we have the have if we know if we see a support bounce off of this, then I'm definitely going to be entering quite a bit into a long position and then preparing for potential resistance right here at this neckline for this potential double bottom formation. Um, so this would act as an earlier entry for a potential larger bullish response. So if we end up seeing this act as support, we could see price action go all the way up to twenty seven thousand dollars so cross your fingers but um october is actually 
historically an extremely bullish month for for crypto in general. So the confluence with that, with historical data, and us retesting this resistance, you know, things are looking really bullish. But that does not mean enter along, right? Unless, of course, you entered off this breakout, then congratulations. Um, but I, I'm personally not going to be entering another long position until I'll double down on my current long position if we get a retest off of this level and then ride as much as I possibly can. The yeah, next thing I want to look at is yeah, let's look at the total market cap for crypto. It's starting to have a rounded bottom. Good, it's a good sign. It's a bullish, uh, bullish sign. So we could see us, you know, if we get back above this level of interest right here. We can slip into the valley and start seeing extreme amount of like volatility bring us to a 1.02 trillion market cap again. But this is the daily chart, so it'll take a few days for that to play out, um, probably a few weeks. So we got that, which is bullish. So everything's looking bullish right now. And let's go over to the energy web token really quick. So yesterday we were talking about how we have a potential like 15% move. Um, so if we entered off this long position, we it pumped up 5% in a basically in a single candle, and it closed a portion of it here after we broke this um, level of support. And I didn't close all of it because I was hoping for a retest. We got a really strong retest. We slipped back into like the formation a little bit, but we got a really strong retest. Um, so we can double down on the trade if you'd like, if you're in a trade like this, but um, just make sure, you know, you're willing to lose it all, right? Uh, my stop loss is still in place at around, uh, yeah, $3.64. And now that we had this confirmation bounce, I most likely will move my stop loss up a little further. And I've added to my position, so this isn't my average anymore. Um, I added it during the this candle close. So my average is probably roughly around here, but I'll have to double check the exchange just for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now for Energy Web Token. I'm still in it. Uh, I, I did it via spot because of the fact that I would be risking about a 4.53% gain. So I didn't want to use leverage on that. There's no point of multiplying your losses, right? If you end up getting a loss, um, because the gain's well worth it. Not You don't need leverage for that kind of gain. Um, all right, so that's oh, looking into Pine Script. Sorry, yeah, that's pretty much everything, guys. So just I would keep your eye out on the DXY for any potential um, short positions. So if we end up seeing a breakout of this downtrend level resistance, the technical target to wait back up here at um, one fourteen, right? And we have this level of um, resistance right here as well. This is the technical target. So if we end up seeing a breakout of this. Um, just prepare to see some uh, really bearish price action in the Bitcoin chart. So if you're in a long position, you might have to close your long in response to it, this breakout. Um, or you could prepare a short, not financial advice. But um, that's what I'd be doing, especially if there's confluence in the chart. If we're meeting resistance here and we get a breakout here, then it's, it's screaming at you to tell you to uh, enter a short. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got for you guys. Just be safe trading on the weekend. Um, the volatility is usually really unpredictable. Support levels, resistance levels aren't honored as much during the weekends. Um, so if you're a weekend trader, just be safe. And yeah, that's everything I got for you guys. And have yourself an amazing day. Thanks for watching.